Lighthouses have, have always been a source of fascination for people. We marvel at the magnificence of their construction uh, or the brilliance of their light, uh, but always we are inspired by the benefit and assistance um, to maritime safety for those in peril on the sea. One tends to forget the human contribution that makes it all happen and the uh, technologies that achieve that beacon of light reaching out into the night sky. In every age, it was always the best available light source that is the standard for maritime safety. And after Carl Wellsback developed the incandescent mantle in the early 1890s, fired by a Bunsen flame and used by Arthur Octavius Kitson and the Chance Brothers vaporised hydrocarbon paraffin fuel system, these very successful mantle burners in various sizes became the preferred light source in lighthouses around the world for decades. They were just that good. The afternoon procedure for lighthouse crews everywhere was the same as we will see with this working reproduction uh, example of uh, one of those Kitson Chance Brothers uh, 55mm burners being prepared for the night shift. We will see the simple efficiency of the equipment and the skill of the light station personnel and the magnificent light output that was directed through the spectacular construction of uh, Fresnel's lenses uh, with the resulting awesome mantle beam of light that reached out across the sky. We dedicate our thoughts and our gratitude to all those people who made it possible. Well, later on we're going to be firing up one of these um, Kitson and Chance Brothers um, um, incandescent um, kerosene vapour mandel burners in, from a lighthouse. But this is the um, some of the specifications relating to it, which is specifications. That's the uh, the unit that we're going to be looking at. The the one on the left is the fifty five millimeter um, that we'll be firing up, and the one on the on the right is the eighty five, uh, which are in the larger lighthouses around the place. The uh, methylated spirits preheating uh, burner, the uh, the cage that carries the mantle itself. Taking air pressure from the um, from the air, air vessel, feeding into the um, fuel canister, and the pressure goes up into the um, uh, the regulating valve, and um, and from there into the vaporizing tubes. There's quite an array of uh, of these of the beautiful pieces of mechanism, but really so uh, essentially simple. Um, and yet they they operate so well. This is the the, reg, the regulating valve here, and the the pressurized fuel goes up to the vaporizer in the top there and the mantle sits on top. Uh, I've been able to get various um, 
various components and, and make up a, a working demonstration of, uh, uh, of one of these things. Let's start from the top. Um, da -da. So we have the air in the receiver at the bottom, feeding up to the fuel canister and the gauge telling us what pressure we've got in the fuel section. Uh, it'll be operating at, um, uh, at at 67 pounds per square inch and the, um, the pressurized fuel will go across to the regulating valve here and be fed up to the uh, the preheating methylated spirits burner will just swing out of the way But the, the vaporizer is, is up in there um, as the fuel vaporizes naturally. You can see at the top of that jet there where it says 55, you can actually see a little trail of, of, uh, of vapor squirting up into the, into the housing. And it's essentially a Kitson patent that, that uh, Chance Brothers modified. But um, Arthur Octavius Kitson is the uh, is the man, the, the patent holder. And that's where our, our mantle sits up on top. The flame has got to be belching out of that and just about blowing clear of the um, clear of the surface. Now that's pretty much the way that they were set, set up in a, a lighthouse on the three-point pedestal. And so as the, as the last light fades, we'll um, get ourselves organised and Oh, this is the this is the auto form mantle that we'll be putting onto this one. I, I prefer the, the the spherical type of mantle um, that are, that makes a nice nicer shape. Um, this is the one I was using using last time. And it just blows up, blows out to a, a nice shape, and gives a, a very um, serious amount of light out of there. But we'll we'll go through the uh, procedure of, of um, burning a new mantle, um, just to show you the procedure there. Right, that's that. Last light of day, let's see what we can do. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is now dark enough to fire up, as the lighthouse keepers would have done at dusk, just half an hour before dusk every uh, every day. Uh, we're going to, first of all, light the, the um, methylated spirits uh, vaporizing uh, preheater. So, come look, follow me over. And here is our methylated spirits, like so, and the vaporizing tubes are up underneath, so we swing this underneath and now these, um, the vaporizing tube that I made up is made of uh, heavy wall section brass which will heat up a little bit quicker than the iron steel um, stainless steel burner uh, vaporizers that uh, they, they use in the lighthouse service but it will still take um, uh, uh, at least 10 to 15 minutes so that's why it's going to be we'll come back in in a little while and uh, I'll be able to tell um, by the uh, signs of uh, vapor around the place that it's time to open 
the, uh, the fuel valve. We've got the pressure tanks. Follow me down, please. The pressure tanks are, are charged, and we've got the, um, the pressure in the, um, there's the, there's a fuel re and, uh, canister. Is, is up to its 67 pounds per square inch is the required figure there. Um, it would be a, a, a quite a, an effort to pump up the um, pump up that pressure with. They were supposed to do it with a, a car tire pump. It, it, it's hard work. I, I've got to admit, I use a compressor and we just charge it up a little bit more quickly and a bit more easily than that. But that's where we are. We'll just. I'd like to come underneath building and. Uh, And that's where the action is happening, and the heat from the uh, methylated spirits wick is uh, heating up those uh, vaporizing tubes now. Okay, we'll switch off and come back later. Well, as you can see, we've got our vapor, our vapor starting to happen, and it's taken about the, the, the 10 minutes to, to heat up, and I'll let the pressure run through. We now have the pressure up to here and fuel coming through. So we'll give it a bit of time to, um, to generate more heat. And vaporized that a small portion of the um, the vapor is now feeding underneath to the vaporizing tubes and uh, assisting the uh, uh, assisting that process. Lighthouse keeper would be watching for when the blue Bunsen flame starts to blow off the top gauze. And so, if you lift up the camera and sort of get a, a sideways. That's about where we are. Now, at this point, I'll get the mantle. Uh, this is the mantle that I'm going to put on. I'm going to slip it over the top and um, hopefully it will flare up. But if it doesn't happen the first time, I've got a, another mantle there ready to go. So I slide it down over the top and we'll, we'll watch the mantle hopefully blow out to a good shape and, um, and come up with its full incandescent illumination. One, two, three. And there we have it. The lighthouse is ready for operation. By the time you've got that amount of light punching through a Fresnel lens, it's it's a, a, a most significant beam of light. Apparently, the um, I'm told that the 85 millimeter burners, um, by the time they're punching through the the, um, the the Fresnel lens, are sending a beam, straight beam, 30 uh, 30 miles out over the horizon, and it's about about one million candela in the center of that beam, which is going over the curve of the earth and uh, illuminating the clouds 
on the on the far side. So um, a mariner at sea can see the um, the uh, um, see the light on the cloud. And uh, hopefully we've got our, our pressure up there, and everything else is in ship shape water. And that's an, a massive amount of light to be punching out. Um, the the illumination in the trees is quite quite uh, marvellous to see. Uh, and all around the yard is uh, gaining the benefit of this mass of, of light output. Uh, and here we are, the, the amount of light on the house. So concentrate that through a Fresnel lens and you've got the uh, what makes a lighthouse work with the Kitson and Chance Brothers 55mm uh, incandescent vapour, uh, kerosene vapour burner. It never ceases to impress me, even though I've seen it a few times. Um, but it's uh, a, a, a pretty much simple equipment, really, and a, the cheapest, ordinary f fuel. But that's a marvelous, marvelous result. So you you can't help admire the manufacturers first of all, and uh, and but a great deal of sincere admiration and appreciation goes to the people who who operated those those lighthouses through the the long cold lonely nights and not only the the lighthouse keepers but their support crew the, the wives and families who were uh, on those light stations uh, with, with them uh, we we owe them a, a vote of a great gratitude for the um, um, safety that they provided for those in peril on the sea it was a marvellous achievement, and, and this uh, Kitson burner was was their their tools of trade for a long, long time. Hmm. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Finish. <laughs>